Hello friends, I am your Suresh. You are watching the Roller Suresh YouTube channel. Friends, in this video, we will talk about ground tissue or simple permanent tissue. What is tissue? Tissue is a group of cells having same structure and function. So a group of cells similar in structure and function, that group of cells is called as tissue. Each tissue generally involved in a special function. And before entering our topic, we should understand how many kinds of tissues are present in plants. Okay, in plants generally four kinds of tissues present, but the classification of tissues is different. In plants, there are two kinds of classifications. First classification that is based on the structure and functions of the tissues. And second classification is based on only one feature that is cell division capacity. Okay, let's try to understand. Okay, now let's concentrate on the classification of tissues. How many tissues are present in plants and what are they? Okay, the tissues in the plants are like this. Here, for classification, here in classification of tissues, there are two classifications. First classification is, this classification was done based on the structure and functions of the tissues. The tissues are divided into four kinds. This is first classification. Okay, according to this classification, the tissues in the plants are of four kinds. Meristematic tissue, dermal tissue, ground tissue and vascular tissue. This is one classification. And one more classification also there in plants. What is that? That classification was done based on a special feature called cell division capacity. Based on cell division capacity, the tissues in the plants are of two kinds. They are meristematic tissues and permanent tissues. Meristematic tissue, the cells having cell division capacity. So that all the cells present in meristematic tissue, they can divide very fast. They are responsible for growth and development. And permanent tissue, the cells do not have any cell division capacity so that they involve in any other function. So they are called permanent tissue. Here, permanent tissue is developed from meristematic tissue only. First of all, meristematic tissue develop more number of cells. Out of that cells, some cells, they lose cell division capacity and they get modified into a special tissue. Whenever the tissue loses cell division capacity, then that is treated as permanent tissue. Again, under permanent tissue, three kinds of tissues are present. Simple permanent tissue and complex permanent tissue and protective permanent tissue. Here, very clear, simple permanent tissue means ground tissue. And complex permanent tissue means vascular tissue. And protective tissue means dermal tissue. Okay. Finally, in plants, only four kinds of tissues present. But just we are naming them differently. We are calling them differently. If we concentrate on this classification, four kinds of tissues. If we concentrate on this classification, two kinds of tissues. Okay. Now the information is very clear. We have uh, clarified our doubts. Okay. Now let's concentrate on our topic, ground tissue. According to this classification, ground tissue we are going to talk about. According to this classification, simple permanent tissue we are going to talk about. Now, let's learn simple permanent tissue or ground tissue. Okay, this ground tissue. What is ground tissue or what is simple permanent tissue? A tissue which is responsible for package of all the tissues in plant body. And the tissue which forms bulk of the plant body, ground tissue forms bulk of the plant body. That means a major portion of the body is occupied by this ground tissue. And uh, it involves in package of all the tissues because it occupies bulk, it forms a bulk. It occupies more or major portion so that it can cover all the tissues. It can surround all the tissues. So it helps in package of all the tissues. Okay, it involves in many functions also. What are the functions we will discuss very clearly now here. And this uh, ground tissue again divided into three tissues. They are parenchyma, colenchyma and sclerenchyma. Ground tissue contains three tissues and the first one parenchyma. Here, this is the diagram of parenchyma. What is parenchyma? Let's concentrate the structure of parenchyma. This is parenchyma. All these are the cells of parenchyma. The cells of parenchyma are very soft and they have very thin cell walls. Their cell walls are very thin and they have some intercellular spaces. Here intercellular spaces are present among the cells. The shape of the cell may be oval shape or round shape. Parenchyma is present in soft portions of plant body so that it is called parenchyma. And this parenchyma involves in many functions like uh, preparation of food material and uh, storage of food material and giving mechanical strength or physical support to plant body. Like this, it involves in many functions. 
again based on the function of parenchyma based on the location of the parenchyma parenchyma also divided into three kinds what are they chlorenchyma parenchyma and storage tissue what is chlorenchyma chlorenchyma is nothing but it is a parenchyma which is having chloroplasts a parenchyma having chloroplasts inside their cells that is called chlorenchyma where is chlorenchyma located very simple we can say which part of plant body is green in color leaves so leaves are in green color what is the reason because of chloroplast where are chloroplast present chloroplasts are present in a parenchyma what is that parenchyma called that is called chlorenchyma so chlorenchyma is one kind of parenchyma having the chloroplast so that it involves in the preparation of food material during the process of photosynthesis so chlorenchyma function is preparation of food in photosynthesis next one parenchyma parenchyma also a parenchyma which is having large air spaces among the cells due to the presence of air spaces among the cells simply it makes the plant to float this this parenchyma is present in aquatic plants so that the aquatic plants can float on water and they can bear the pressure of water that is due to the presence of parenchyma next one storage tissue it is also one kind of parenchyma which involves in storage of food material or water or waste material like this this storage tissue involves in storage of different materials so parenchyma involves in many functions like this now let's concentrate on cholenchyma now this is cholenchyma these are the cells of cholenchyma and the cells of cholenchyma have very thick cell walls and cholenchyma has very little intercellular spaces big intercellular spaces are present in parenchyma but here intercellular spaces in cholenchyma are very very little very small intercellular spaces are present and the cells of cholenchyma are somewhat elongated comparing to the parenchyma and where is it located cholenchyma is located inside the leaf stalks leaf stalk is also called as petiole it is located in the petioles of the leaves and also it is located under the epidermis and especially it is seen in the soft portions of the plant body what is the function of it it gives physical support or mechanical support to the plant body uh, sometimes the parts of plant bends but not broken why the parts why the branches generally bend but not broken that is due to the presence of cholenchyma so cholenchyma gives flexibility to the plant body it gives flexibility to the parts of the plant body so the part of plant body is not broken very easily immediately because cholenchyma is located in the smooth parts wherever the parts generally bends it gives physical and mechanical support to the plant body and this is about cholenchyma now sclerenchyma the cells of sclerenchyma are dead they are not alive and the shape and sizes of the cells of sclerenchyma are different and they have very thick cell walls due to the presence of lignin because their cell walls are made of lignin so that they have very thick cell walls and there are no intercellular spaces present inside this sclerenchyma where is sclerenchyma located sclerenchyma is located in the coverings of seeds and it is located around the vascular tissue vascular tissue means xylem and phloem is combinedly called as vascular tissue they involve in the transportation of water and food material so due to the presence of this sclerenchyma around the xylem and phloem the xylem and phloem gets physical and mechanical support so sclerenchyma also helps in giving physical and mechanical support to the plant body like this we understood the different kinds of ground tissue parenchyma and the cholenchyma and sclerenchyma these three combinedly called as ground tissue or simple permanent tissue why these are called simple permanent tissue because the reason is parenchyma cholenchyma and sclerenchyma all these are made of only one type of cell so that they are called simple permanent tissue so friends i think you have understood simple permanent tissue or ground tissue in detail very clearly thank you for watching